Prime Minister, uh, you said that you told Jody Wilson-Raybould that any decision on matters of the Director of Public Prosecutions were hers alone to make. So did you remove her as Justice Minister because she didn't make the decision that you wanted her to make on SNC-Lavalin? Uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould and I had a conversation in September uh, in which I emphasized to her that the decision uh, on uh, the decisions she makes as Attorney General, particularly in this matter, uh, are her decision and that I was not uh, directing or pressuring her. If she felt that she had received pressure, uh, it was her obligation, her responsibility to come uh, to talk to me and she did not do that in the fall and uh, she continued to choose to serve uh, in this government as Veterans Affairs Minister when I made a cabinet shuffle. Prime Minister, can you just tell us the reasons that Mr. Ms. wilson Rabel gave you for why she she decided to resign from Cabinet? Uh, do you want me to answer that question in English? Um, I'm just trying to remember. Okay. Uh, as a government, uh, we take very seriously our responsibility to grow the economy, uh, to invest in jobs, to invest in a strong future for Canadians. That's exactly what we do. We look uh, every day at how we're going to continue uh, to grow the economy and create good jobs. But the way we do that is always consistent with the rules and the norms and the, uh, the principles of the independence of the judiciary and the rule of law. If anyone uh, any minister, including the former Attorney General, uh, felt that there was, uh, that we were not living up to that standard, it was her responsibility to come and speak to me directly about that. She did not do that in the fall, uh, and uh, she accepted uh, a, another position in this government when I made the cabinet shuffle. So uh, we are uh, going to continue uh, to work hard to build a stronger economy and always respect the rule of law in this country.